So now we're going to learn how to use factoring to solve word problems. So, like I've always told you, the hardest part of word problems is setting them up. After that, the math is actually pretty easy. So let's focus mostly on the setup of this problem. The sum of the squares of two consecutive positive even integers is 340 find the integers. So I know that sounds like a lot, but right here where it tells us that it's positive and integer just tells us that's it up that it's a positive whole number. Two consecutive even integers is gonna help us define our variables. So x is gonna be the first integer and consecutive means that they come one right after another. But since it says even, if x was 2, the next integer would be 3, if I just said that it was x plus 1. So we have to say that it's x plus 2 in order to ensure that this second integer is also even. So the sum of the squares, so that means we're going to square the first integer and add it to the square of the second integer. And the sum is, which means equals, 340. So let me square this out. Get x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 340. We're going to combine our like terms and we're going to pull this 340 over because remember when we solve equations by factoring we have to set it equal to zero. Negative 336 equals zero. We can factor 2 out, x squared plus 2 minus, and get minus 168 equals zero. So here's where the guess and check part of this comes in. We have to figure out which two numbers div multiply to make 168 but divide to make, or I mean add to make two. So I'm just gonna, with my calculator, plug in some numbers and see if I can get any that will fit those two rules. And I found out that 168 divided by 12 is equal to 14. So if I make this x plus 14 x minus 12, then they'll add to give me a positive 2 and multiply to give me a negative 168. So I'm gonna set these both equal to 0. If I add 12 over I get 12. If I subtract 14 over I get negative 14. So since our problem told us that they had to be positive, I can scratch out that negative 14 and I know that x is equal to 12. But since it said to find both integers, I have to add 2 to that to find the second integer. So x is equal to 14. So we're going to do another example. 14 less than the square of a number is the same as 5 times that number. So we're going to let x equal the number. 14 less than the square of a number. So x squared minus 14 is equal to 5 times that number. I'm going to subtract that 5 over minus 14 equals 0. Now this is in a special kind of trinomial, so we just have to factor it normally. So what two numbers, well the only things 14 is divisible by is 7 
and itself. So 7 times 2 will give us 14. And since I have a negative 5, that meets, needs to be a negative 7 plus a positive 2. Because then we'll get negative 14 and negative 7x plus 2x is equal to negative 5x. So we set these equal to 0. x minus 7 equals 0. x plus 2 equals 0. x, add 7 over, you get 7. Subtract 7, 2 over, you get negative 2. So now what we do is we plug this one in, we plug both of these numbers in and see which one makes the statement true. So 7 squared minus 14 is equal to 5 times 7. 7 squared is 49 minus 14 is equal to 35. If you subtract that, you get 35 is equal to 35. So that one checks out. We have to make sure that the other one doesn't, or it does as well. So we have negative 2 squared minus 14 is equal to negative 2 times 5. So this is 4 minus 14 equals negative 10. Negative 10 equals negative 10. So those both work. So that means the number is either 7 or negative 2. And it's possible to have more than one correct answer for these problems. So that's all we're going to do with word problems today. Make sure you come back and watch our next lesson where we're going to use factoring to help us solve geometric problems.